Hello and welcome. This is Rick Baxter with Cost Control Software. In this video, I want to spend a little time kind of reviewing a concept, not so much a software presentation, but a concept of what I'm going to call project manufacturing. And project manufacturing combines both job costing and nav manufacturing into one combined uh, database. Now, not all companies need this kind of power, but uh, some do, and I want to kind of uh, walk you through some of the concepts that I believe uh, can really strengthen uh, your um, sales uh, environment or your setup of your NAV uh, when you combine both job costing and manufacturing in one uh, database. Uh, the purpose really is uh, project costing but the project often includes a component of manufacturing. So I want to just kind of get this concept of being able to combine the NAV manufacturing production orders, combining that to put those items into finished goods inventory, and then consuming those on a job. So the whole concept here is that you still get good costing for a project because a project is often built uh, into let's call them divisions where you have a design and engineering division you have then the build and fabrication division which is primarily controlled by nav manufacturing with its bill of materials and routers and uh, engineering change management and all the things that you have on the, on the NAV side, even the MRP processes, and even the production scheduling, uh, the shop time entry, all of those things related to uh, production orders. And yet on the job side is where you track the individual, mostly probably labor cost, involved with design and engineering, the, um, the assemble and ship uh, division and then any kind of documentation, maybe installing, testing, training the end user, um, that division. All of those three or actually four divisions then can add up to come up with the total cost of that project. And of course you have the revenue component so you would certainly have the sales orders which could generate that production order or the, I'm sorry that job. And then you have uh, the result is very nice because now you get project revenue. So now we can compare that revenue, the cost, and the profit. So we can actually see what the profitability is for the overall project. And you might actually develop or break this project down into sub jobs. So you could have a sub job that is design and engineer. You could have a sub job that is the fabrication, a sub job that is the assemble and shipping division, and a sub job that is maybe the installation and uh, training the customer how to use the products, things like that. And each of these sub jobs will have labor costs, subcontract costs, maybe sub uh, travel costs. Uh, they might even have individual material costs. You might have some materials involved with the uh, installation or testing, or you might have some materials that you used up here in the early design and engineer process. So there could be uh, labor, materials, subcontract, travel, miscellaneous, whatever it might be, as well as, this is interesting, being able to schedule the resources against this project. So we can bring in the visual drag and drop scheduling. You've seen maybe the Planner 1 uh, software for that. Um, that would give you the uh, resource uh, Gantt charts uh, and scheduling capabilities for the resources that work within the projects. For scheduling on the production orders, you use production scheduler. Again, both of these are Planner 1 products, and it would schedule the shop floor. It's a different type of scheduling. 
And then of course, once the products are produced, they go into inventory. You may have a need for quality control as well. So you could actually use the quality control granules to test those finished goods. Or if you're using um, quality control for incoming raw materials, that could also uh, be applied. I don't show the purchasing process here, but it works there as well. Uh, let's see what else I wanted to mention. Oh, and the part, you know, where this almost all can start is with the estimating and quoting process. You can set up planning jobs and quoting jobs to actually generate quotes and estimates of cost for this entire project. And then once the customer approves the work, you convert the quote to an actual sales order and generate then the uh, jobs to track the cost during the um, fulfillment of the work for this customer. Now I do want to comment here that all these components have individual videos explaining them. So for example, if you want to know more about quality control, I encourage you to watch the video specifically on quality control or shop time entry. If you want to learn about how you can record or how the employees can record their time against production orders, that's the manufacturing time entry, uh, that would, there's a specific video on that. Or the production scheduling, there's a specific video on that for NAV manufacturing. If you're interested in the engineering change management and engineering change orders and version control, those types of things, there's a specific video on that. And certainly many videos on job costing using the job manager for managing these large uh, projects and analyzing the job profitability, the revenue cost and profitability of that job. There's some specific videos on that on our website. So I wanted to kind of pull all of these products together in one fairly large solution, but gives you an incredible level of control and power by grouping the various uh, products together and providing a very, what I would call robust uh, solution for any of your customers that are make to order, engineer to order, assemble to order, type manufacturing, very much project oriented uh, type customers, uh, this would make for an excellent combination of both job costing and manufacturing working together to provide this job uh, and project uh, profitability. Hope you like this concept. If you have any questions about what you've seen here, certainly call me if you want to see some of the individual uh, videos on quality control. And, and if you don't have a link to that, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll get you. Uh, it's, these are all pretty much on our website, but I would encourage you uh, to uh, watch those individual uh, videos as well. Uh, to understand the overall concepts and then maybe we have a, a follow-up presentation uh, a live presentation with you on this concept as well thanks for taking a look